guys welcome to jay today please subscribe if you're not already so heather has started posting again about george lopez um and it's become pretty clear that george doesn't really know who she is and that he's just maybe responded to one or two messages of hers before i'm pretty sure that he wasn't aware of how um crazy this girl is um anyway this is the george lopez that we're talking about he's a bodybuilder which i think is why Heather's kind of clung on to him because she's into all the body thing. Well, she is, and sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't, you know. Um, you can see her at her apartment's um, gym uh, a lot of the time now, uh, working out. And if you always notice, she's always the only one there. I'd say whenever there's someone in there and she comes in, they always kind of like, oh, my God, here she is, let's leave. So uh, whenever you see her, she tends to be on her own. So this is George anyway. He's a jeweller, and it seems that Heather's kind of got a thing for him now because he's responded to her a couple of times. So she's made up this thing that he, he invited her to Miami, but then didn't bring her. If we all remember, this was the actual post. Um, she'd sent a video before, and then he wrote that he's in Miami. And then she said, well, saying, oh, fantastic. When are, you, when are you sending me my flight info and I'll... And then she's covered up the rest. So I don't even think he, he was ever sending her any kind of flight info, because then underneath she sent two voice messages, because he's obviously ignoring her. And his wrote, might go to Bahamas with my girl. And if you look at his page, his girlfriend's all over the page. He's They look very much in love. They go all different places together. So Heather put this on a story. First, he promises to take me to Miami. Uh, no, Heather, he didn't. You had that in your head. He never invited you. Blows me off. I didn't ha ask him to take me to Miami. He offered. But it's pretty obvious that he didn't. Now he just leaves me here with no phone, knowing I need to speak to my children. So he wants him, she wants him to pay for her phone too, because we know she hasn't got a job. With friends like this, who needs enemies? She's wrote underneath the actual thing that she sent to him, the message. George, you look young AF. Also, can you please help me? I'm literally begging you. I've had a check waiting for me at, at my old job in Roselle, and it's my baby son's B-Day, and my iPhone is... DC and I need to pick it up can you please help me so I don't know what check she's on about she did a thing the other day that she had a um, an interview at a hookah lounge thing and then we never heard anything about that she probably didn't if we remember the job that she got at the gym she turned up and it turned out she didn't even work there and they threw her out so she's wanting this random guy off the internet to pay for her phone uh, to give him money just because he might have responded to a couple of her messages a couple of times he's obviously seen her like she's come into his inbox and he's seen that she's been on tv so he's responded to her not knowing the kind of full scale meltdown that's coming for him you know the um the wrath of heather because you know you're not sending her money we've seen it with a few a load of people now some of the responses anyway um heather keeps looking for you um, and then he's like, what's going on? I don't understand. She's dissing you on IG and asking for dollars. So he d he has no idea. He's woken up to all this. Why the heck is that crazy Heather asking for you for your money and dissing you on Instagram? She's seriously losing her mind. And he's lol, am I getting pranked? No, she tagged you in her story yesterday. I warn you, she is batshit crazy. I would stay far away as possible. And then he wrote, you sure? Hold on, let me check her story. Now, people are saying that um, he's actually, she's blocked him. So she can't, he can't even see what she's uh, writing. Me and her were always civil, but yeah, she goes through things. I'm a free man. I have no kids, but my own family to take care of. I don't understand why I'm the bad guy if I didn't take her to Miami. Like, why do I need to take her? I don't understand. I'm going to have to message her. Maybe it's the wrong George. No, George, is a, it's definitely you she's coming for because you've responded to her a couple of times. You've, you've got to feel sorry for him, though, because it's not going to stop with her, is it? She's going to keep tagging him in stuff and um, asking him for money and blaming him for this whole Miami thing that she made up in her head that he never even invited her to. Um, there's quite a few comments on there now. She said on IG that you ghosted her to Miami and then go, so so that you invited her to Miami and then ghosted her. Now she's begging for dollars because she refuses to get a job and needs more pills and duster. Please do not give her money. It makes you kind of wonder what kind of job she is applying for, because it's probably kind of stupid ones like brain surgery and you know stuff that she's not qualified for whatsoever. I know she said she had the the interview at the hookah lounge, whatever you call it. I think that's that thing that the, the smoke is it through the pipe thing. 
but of course we never heard anything again about that. Do they call it hookah or hoodoo? I can't, I don't know. Um, and probably gyms as well. But every gym will probably know who she is now because like they'd all be talking to each other. No one's gonna be giving her a job at one of the gyms after returning up and pretending that she works at one. So on every comment, he's no idea what what's going on. He probably did think he was being punked. What the hell is going on, lol? Uh, Heather said you left her in Miami, didn't pay her phone bill, so now it's shut off. You won't take her to pick her up paycheck. <laughs> I wonder what paycheck it is anyway she's talking about. I was actually looking at the model mayhem that she has in her bio. I've not actually heard of it. Maybe it's an American like modeling thing that you can just put your profile on. She's wrote that she's very experienced on it, but she is, she's had like quite a bit of modeling experience from when she was on the show, I think. But I don't think many photographers really want to work with her now because obviously when she turns up, they can see that there's something, you know, not right. And it's wrote shoot nudes and she's wrote no on it. And then her uh, pictures, they all just basically go on to show a lot of nudes. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to write that, don't then put... I mean, that, I know that one's not nude, but she's wearing underwear. But still, you know, if you're going to write that, don't then put nudes up. Some of them, this one's nice. I really like that one. She's pretty, that one. And this one as well. So there's a few professional ones up there. But if you're going to write that you don't shoot nudes, don't then put a load of nudes on the thing. Because you're going to get all the people, all the weirdos contacting you. You know, like all the pervy photographers that want to just shoot nudes and give you like $100. Uh, of course, she's got her and Dylan on there, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I don't know how that's relevant to a modelling profile, but he does look quite nice in it. So if anyone knows George Lopez in real life, tell him to run for his life and not look back and block Heather. Um, because we all know it's just going to get worse and she's going to start accusing, of, accusing him of much worse next. So I finally had to block this one's girlfriend today because she's so, so annoying She's been on this rant ever since I put up uh, Clint's body cam of his arrest. She seems to think she's famous. There's videos of her um, of DV against Clint and he's still with her. Every All the comments on my channel are just absolutely insane. I've only watched her a couple of times. Someone said, like, I'll go watch this, I'll go watch this. One was where she said she was coming to Ireland because she wanted to fight me. They'll let you know, Jen, if you want to fight me, I, I fight back. I don't just sit there like Clint, like a pussy. And then there was another one where she's saying that uh, I better look out because all her family were in the army. It's like, okay, Jen, you can't even take your trash out, but you're really going to come to Ireland? Okay, love. I was actually sparring at the gym the other day and all my ears all kind of swollen and it feels like there's something inside it. I don't know if that's kind of a, a thing. Um, and it had gone all purple and I was kind of like, why is it so purple and it's staying like that? Anyway, it turned out it was the purple shampoo that I didn't rinse off my ear properly. But it still feels like there's something inside my ear. I don't know, it's kind of like my brain falling out or something. But we were kind of hard sparring. I got punched really hard in the ear and it's been hurting ever since. And all my jaw's been hurting. So, Jen, if you're going to come to Ireland, can you just wait till my ear, my ear isn't as swollen? This is the kind of crazy stuff she writes on the, my comments anyway. Is that a diaphragm? You now these posts I like. Uh, laughing my ass off but she, oh, and then she comes in on a fake account like two minutes later to agree with herself I mean at least leave it le less than two minutes this is what she thought looked like a diaphragm anyway that's my horse's feed bucket that he stomps to death he does it all the time he's gone through like 10 feed buckets already this year he's called Bob but we call him Bob's so anyway Jen I finally did you a favor and blocked you because you just bat shit go get some help stay off the internet and stop beating up Clint so anyway, back to Heather. I'm kind of hoping that she might do a little live about George Lopez. I know he probably isn't, but be, I kind of want a little rant about him. I'm pretty sure a few other people might be looking forward to that as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye.